Hi, and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Cedric. I'm an actor, a filmmaker, a screenwriter, and a YouTube reactor. And we're back with Morissette, who I just can't get enough of. What a vocalist. I wanna thank all of you. Uh, never enough, my analysis of her performance of that, which was wonderful. Just, so, I mean, it's a great song, and, and the way that she made it her own is incredible. It was the first of my videos to ever cross 100,000 views. So thank you, and that speaks volumes about her and about the, the support she has. And um, I, I'm just glad that maybe I can contribute to your appreciation of her. Uh, and, and for me, it's fun because so many of my videos are analyzing music videos and that other, you know, other kind of stuff there. So being able to do someone who, who does like these musical theater style vocals and the stuff that I've trained in is really cool. And it makes me appreciate her so much. She's so talented. And uh, this is an original of hers. Akin Kana Lang Lang. Uh, obviously, I'm going to hear how to pronounce it, but I'm excited to see this, you know, completely different than anything else that I've seen from her, I would assume, because they've all been songs I know. And so I've kind of got a feel for her voice, for her talent, and I'm excited to see where that goes. Before we jump into this, I want to say thank you to my patrons on Patreon. You all are amazing. Your support of me as I, you know, this week I've been off from filming, so I've been writing. Some of you know some of the stuff that I'm working on there, and it's cool to see that. I've been able to shoot my auditions. You know, you helped just you just give me the freedom to be able to do things like learn to play the drum set for Poly Q, the feature that I just shot in South Carolina, and you can go like their Facebook page. Or, you know, the, the one that I'm about to do in LA where I speak a lot of German, and um, by the time you're seeing this, I'm probably shooting that film or rapping on it. So you're just, you're giving me that kind of, just like openness to, to live out uh, this this life that I've wanted and and created for myself and and it's not lost on me how important you all are to that so thank you for your support through that it really means so much to me i don't really have anything else to uh to say i don't think let's just dive in uh, i have very high expectations and that's gonna be the case going forward with morissette and i'm sure she's gonna pass them here we go this is morissette akin kanalang i think live on the wish bus wish bus Hmm, wish bus. It's hard to say fast. Okay, here we go. <laughs> A lot of people there. Look at her focus right there. Zeroed in. Wish 107.5. Mm. Mm, nice. All right, let's take it back to the beginning of the chorus before I jump in here. Already a vocal journey. She's starting very soft. You could see her on one vowel, she kind of elongated. You could actually watch her form the sound. I'll put it up here, but watch the way that you can see her actual tongue move to, to change the sound as she's holding the note. It's a cool glimpse into technique. Hear how she's kind of doing this slight indie vocal, a little bit of a closed vowel, and the, the use of her tongue to actually shape that sound and add emotion to it. So just just watch how she uses her technique to create a moment for character here. Right? And then later on, she's kind of opening up. As she goes up, she spreads out her vowels. She does that nice little run. She's getting less light with a little bit more power, but it's still it's it's staying in this place of 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 pleading emotionally, right? So, and I think yeah, she actually says pleading for this. I love the idea of why can't you perceive this? It's there's a little bit of, of fear like 
I don't want to say how much you mean to me. Like, I just, I want you to feel it. I want you to, to know it just by being around me. And I think that that's a compelling uh, place to start as, as a character in the song. And she's, her vocal is so kind of sweet, innocent, kind of Disney princess. This would fit very well in one of those like early 2000s Disney films, which is what I grew up on. So like, I already love it. There's some great character working into this, but this is less focused on telling a story necessarily like her her other songs that I've seen have been, Define Gravity, um, She Used to Be Mine, and Never Enough. Those are story songs. They take place in a musical. This is a song. And so she's less an actor that's singing and more a singer that's acting. And so you can actually hear her change in approach there. It's less driven by this... Um, you know, the, the performance aspect and more just the technical refinement of her vocals. So it's wonderful to hear. Nice. There's the crack. Yeah, really beautiful. Ooh, warm, warm tone. Gorgeous. Hear how she accented that? It helps her breath. Ah, right? She kind of hits. It's not as harsh as what I did, but the, it's it's a nice way to approach it hit, pull back, sustain the breath support, sustain the vowel, add this nice little run, and it kind of elongates the way she can use her breath while starting the sound earlier. It's really nice technique there. And after that chorus, which is a little bit more pushing it, right, where she's holding out the longer notes, now we're coming back down. This little bit more emotional, more pulled back place. And you can see it in her eyes. Just look at her eyes during the chorus in particular just her, her love for the song. I mean, the truth is there, it's in her eyes. And so, you know, sometimes people say, oh, singers shouldn't close their eyes or whatever. I, I disagree. I think her closed eyes emphasize her open eyes, emphasize her closed eyes. And it, it, it rings true in the character of the song itself. It just underscores everything that we're hearing. And it's this sweet, warm toned, warm vowel. It's not a king kind of long. It's not kind of it's musical theater sound. It's or whatever it is, it's this 90s ballad, early 2000s, you know, it, it, it sits right in that place of wanting it to be warmth, a little bit of R&B type influence, just lovely. The breath right there. Nice. Look at that smile. Look at the vowel approach. See how open she's going? How tall her sound is? Somewhere around there? A king kana la. A king kana la. 
it's very open, it's very tall. It's this nice open sound that's really pleasing to hear. But it underscores this idea of, of waiting, like being mine. It, there's, there's this youthfulness to it, and it sounds so lovely. <laughs> She only closes it off at the end. So she's avoiding the temptation to close off early. And then when she goes higher, she's she's putting more into it because she's staying open. And then that, you know, Morissette voice crack that she adds to things that is really, really nice. She picks her moments and it's lovely to hear. But you can hear her building up into the chorus, adding more power to it, but never betraying the technique. So sometimes, I, I think I noticed this in one of her previous videos, I talked about how she was changing technique as she started to push more. That was a choice she was making. Once you know how to do all the things, you can make your choices. Uh, you have to know the rules to break them. And so she is staying in that softer place even when she's adding power. She's not really changing vocal technique and it keeps this sweetness to the song that she would lose, I think, if she switched to a technique that might be more, I don't even know what the phrase would be, not like refined, because what she's doing is refined, but if she changed the technique that I think a lot of singers would be tempted to doing because she's going higher, because she's pushing more air, she would lose the emotion that she's trying to maintain through it. And so I'm really glad that she's staying there, but it's also a testament to her own skill and to her own performance that she can stay in that and she's staying in pitch and she's staying in the character and she's staying in the song. It's great. So she's going full voice and then flips into her head. She doesn't have to go into head voice there. It's kind of, I guess, more of a mix than head voice, but it's purely for effect. It's a really nice pullback on it, but that's what I'm talking about. That, that's what keeps the innocence in the performance. It's great. See, she's full there and then, yeah. And there's the full voice. Oh, come on. Oh, sometimes I watch these things and I'm like, yeah, I see why people wanted me to watch this. And then that happens and I'm like, oh, that's why people wanted me to watch this. Wow. 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 Holy whistle tone, Batman. Maybe a good moment to use this video of my father to explain a lot about me. This is when he dressed up as Batman to climb on the garage roof and scare me. Anyway. Y'all sat through like 12 minutes of video for that. I have no doubt. A lot of you probably skipped to that moment. Oh my goodness. Good on her for not even hinting on what was coming. Not even hinting on what was coming. Oh. And she sets it up really well with the, I, I don't know what the, the line was, but when she's singing my love, it's this nice, hey, it's this nice, hey, open sound on the air. And then she just like up seven octaves, way up there. But again, her approach before that was really refined too. And I was like, oh, this is beautiful, beautiful vocal technique. And then just blows me out of the water with a whistle tone. Incredible. Beautiful. Breath control. We gotta listen to the vocal support there. How long was she holding that?
Guys! Ugh. Morissette, if you're watching this, I just... You're very good, and you deserve a cookie. And you should go get a cookie on me. You can Venmo me. I will Venmo you. You deserve a cookie. I will buy you a cookie. This is extraordinary. This is incredible vocal technique. And because she's building through genuine emotion, it's not really showing off. All of it feels perfectly authentic in the song. All of it feels like it belongs here. But the breath control, y'all, the breath control. Do you know how many people are watching this and want to try it and just shouldn't because they're going to damage their voices? But she is doing it with perfect technique. It's so, so good. Man, I had no idea this was gonna go here. I wanna count how long she holds this. There's a quick breath. That was almost 20 seconds, 18 seconds. Ooh, Ooh chills on that head voice. See, now, y'all, this is why I love having this channel. This is why I love doing this. I don't know if I ever would have heard Morissette without this I mean, I'm sure I would have, like, just in the circles that I run in. But getting to discover vocalists of her caliber and to just enjoy them with all of you and to just expand my own horizons and my own technique. Like, I'm going to be watching this and taking this technique. I'm not a whistle tone vocalist, but I do falsetto. And there's stuff I can I can learn from her. So as much as I hope that I'm teaching all of you, people like Morissette and So Young and and Dimash and you know uh, BTS. I mean, I, I learn my own vocal technique from them and my own you know choreography. I love this channel because of that. And I just this was this was magnificent. It was extraordinary. The casual whistle tones, like, I, you know, I guess if you had asked me, oh, can Morissette do whistle tones, I would have said, yeah, of course she can. Like, it's just an assumption I would have made. But that doesn't mean it's any less extraordinary and still you hear it and it's just, like, full transparency, I'm not a big whistle tone fan, generally. But she built it into the DNA of the song, into the fabric of the song. And so, so often when I hear whistle tones, I'm like, ah, there's no need for that. It's just, it doesn't need to be there. But this, because she was so sweet with the whole thing, because it was this, just the presentation of the performance, to me, it just fits. It just works. And, and that's, you know, that's her doing the important work of making choices to tell a story with the song. And it was, that was gorgeous. I had chills all over and... I hope I hope y'all enjoyed uh, that. That was wonderful. That was wonderful. 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 My goodness. Um, she's. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. I'm not even going to try to figure out how she went. Um, it was up there. It was definitely higher than that, I would think. Um, so, <laughs> OK. Thank you all so much for watching. This is wonderful. I'm sure we'll be back with more of her soon. But until then, uh, if you don't watch my other videos, or if you do, who cares? Drink lots of water. Get enough sleep. Take care of yourselves. And uh, I'll see you next Oh, and fix your posture, as always. Until next time, be well.